You need coins for the upcoming Team of the Year promo? Look no further than MaddenMuttCoins.com. Use code RYAN20 at checkout and get 20% off your order. So today we're going to go over the Team of the Year predictions that I have. I only have 10 cards here. Um, I'm not going to do a full team list. I might in the future, but uh, right now we're going to be doing what I want to call like the top 10 Team of the Year cards. Not even really the top 10, just at least one at every position. Uh, you know, someone on the D-line, someone at linebacker, someone at safety, someone at corner, receiver, tight end, quarterback, and running back. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start off. You can already see a preview there of uh, we got Tyreek Hill and Aaron Donald, but we're going to start off at quarterback and we're going to go with the Steelers quarterback, Big Ben Roethlisberger. Now, Big Ben actually, uh, for what it's worth, had a pretty decent year. I mean, he had 5,129 passing yards. He had 34 passing touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Um, he had a 96.5 rating, and he also had a 67 completion percentage, which is one of the highest in the NFL this year. Uh, you know, EA doesn't really give out the Team of the Year cards to the best player at every position. Uh, they usually go ahead and think outside the box, give cards to guys that don't really have a really good, um, you know, player item at the time. And that is, you know, kind of the case here with Big Ben. So Big Ben only has, I do believe, like a 92 overall card right now. And if I'm correct, I think the Team of the Year cards will all be around 97 overall. Uh, considering that's what like the playoff heroes are at right now, like the playoff uh, legends, limited, you know, whatever they're going to be doing. If they're going to be doing limited legends for the playoffs, I'm not sure if they will, but it uh, looks like they're all going to be 97 overall for like the Steve Smith and the Willie McGinnis. Uh, so, you know, 92 to 97 is not really a huge, uh, you know, upgrade. For, well, I mean, you know what I mean. Like, it's not like a huge upgrade to the point where you won't be able to see you know, this happening. I could definitely see it happening. Big Ben getting the team of the year quarterback card just because, I mean, uh, they probably have plans for Patrick Mahomes. They probably have plans for Drew Brees, you know, getting, you know, maybe even Super Bowl cards or, you know, uh, if they advance further into the playoffs, they may get cards there. So I could definitely see them doing a Big Ben quarterback card. Uh, moving on to running back, we have uh, Cowboys all-star Ezekiel Elliott. Now, Ezekiel Elliott did have 304 rushing attempts, 1,434 rushing yards with a 5.0 average, six rushing touchdowns, and he did have 73 first downs on the year. So uh, still in the playoffs are the Dallas Cowboys and Zeke is you know having a pretty decent year i mean way better than the previous year where he got injured um and then of course uh you know still behind his rookie season of 1631 yards and 15 touchdowns but uh zeke this year also became a really good receiving back 77 receptions 567 yards and three extra touchdowns catching the ball so i uh, definitely see zeke getting the halfback team of the year item um, pretty good card if I do uh, imagine in my head he'd probably be really quick very good uh, you know elusiveness and trucking you know combining them both uh, pretty good catching you know with those 77 receptions so it'll be a dual threat running back um, you know we can only hope that we get someone as good as Ezekiel Elliott hopefully they don't do uh, you know someone like um, you know James Conner or I'm not saying James Conner is a bad football player I'm just saying that, you know, if we get like a James Conner, he's not going to be as good as uh, Ezekiel Elliott or like a Joe Mixon or a Todd Gurley would be. Maybe even Saquon Barkley. Like, I'm not really sure what they'll do here at running back, but I think Ezekiel Elliott is probably a pretty decent bet. Uh, so moving on to wide receivers, we have here Tyreek Hill. Now, obviously, I think they probably would like to do a Tyreek Hill. I know it's going to be a big moneymaker for them. Tyreek Hill is already... Uh, you know, like 90, what, six speed in his best card or something crazy like that. Like, I'm not even sure. I'd have to actually look. It's been a while since I played Mutt. So he has a 93 overall blitz card here and it has 95 speed. So yeah, I could definitely see this uh, Tyreek Hill coming in at like 90, you know, six, 97 base speed and uh, just being super, super good. Uh, but anyways, on the year, Tyreek Hill did have 1,479 yards on only 87 receptions. He had 12 touchdowns, and he was averaging about 17 yards per catch. 
Uh, he had 27 uh, gains of 20 yards or more. And he also combined that with 60 first downs with 489 yards after the catch. Tyreek Hill was absolutely dynamic this year and definitely deserving of a team of the year card. Even though a lot of people don't like Tyreek Hill as a person for what he did, he is a very, very good football player, so I cannot fault him for that. Moving on to wide receiver number two, we have Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen started off the year as one of the best receivers of all time. He had, like, I think it was six or seven, uh, you know, 100-yard games in a row. Uh, he was absolutely dominating. He finished off the year uh, with 1,373 yards, and he did add nine touchdowns, um, 74 first downs, and he did have about 113 receptions. So uh, definitely deserving of a card. Um, his best card right now, I do believe, is like a 92 uh, or 93, I think. I'm not really certain on that. It looks like, yeah, 93 harvest adam thielen so getting up to a 97 overall um probably not a popular team of the year player here for a lot of people but i definitely do believe uh this is something that they would do especially since the vikings are eliminated from the playoffs they don't have to worry about him you know having a monster uh game in the playoffs and then having to give him another card um so definitely this is what you have to consider when doing team of the year and i know with tyreek hill you know there's a chance he could even win super bowl mvp if they make it that far uh, so they may not want to do the team of the year for him, but it's just something that I'm trying to factor in, you know, with predictions that I have in my bracket uh, for my playoff predictions, which already is busted, by the way, because the Eagles defied the odds um, and won that game. So, uh, yeah, definitely I think Tyree Kill and Adam Thielen might get the wide receiver cards here for the team of the year. Uh, moving on to tight end, we have George Kittle. Uh, now, I know a lot of people um, are probably thinking, uh, you know, George Kittle why George Kittle uh you know if you don't know like I'm not saying like maybe a lot of people know this I know there's maybe some people who don't but George Kittle actually broke the record for the most yardage by a tight end in a single year um he's been having pretty decent cards all year long 1,377 receptions uh I'm sorry that'd be crazy 1,377 reception yards with 88 receptions on the year that's crazy average of 15 yards a catch almost 16 five touchdowns he had 20 uh he had 20 receptions of over 20 yards on the year and 60 first downs and 784 yards after the catch which is second most only to christian mccaffrey so putting this into perspective he was second among christian mccaffrey saquon barkley james white and alvin Kamara, all running backs he had 784 yards after the catch at tight end which is outlandish crazy 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 so george kittle definitely deserving of the team of the year tight end card moving on we have the right end aaron donald now obviously if you know anything about football aaron donald has been one of the best players not even just this year but of all time he had an all-time great uh season he had 20 sacks 20 and a half sacks uh, 41 tackles by himself, 59 uh, combined tackles. He had one pass deflection. He forced four fumbles and recovered two of them. He is an absolute madman, absolute savage, absolutely deserving of this card. No further uh, explanations are needed. Moving on to left outside linebacker, we have Von Miller. Again, Von Miller having uh, a historic season here at 15 sacks. He had three pass deflections, one interception for 42 yards on the return, four forced fumbles, and three uh, recoveries. Definitely super, super good there. 48 combined tackles for Mr. Von Miller. Definitely deserving of this card. Uh, moving on to cornerback, we have a guy that not a lot of people would probably imagine being on here, but Xavier Howard makes the list here. Xavier Howard actually had a super good year. Um, he actually came in to the season you know not really expected to do a whole ton but he ended up having a super good year so he came in with seven interceptions this year uh 12 pass deflections um he also had two fumble recoveries and i do believe he had a forced fumble so uh Xavier howard on the dolphins not really a super good team this year but he definitely played very well and i think on pff he's ranked super high and i could definitely see them doing this as kind of like a uh 
This will be like the what the hell type player, like a lot of people aren't going to be imagining Xavier and Howard getting a card, but I could definitely see EA doing something like that. So I'm just trying to get something, you know, outside of the box here. Uh, do I really think he's going to get it? Probably not, but this is just an opinion. Uh, this is just my wild card guess here in Xavier and Howard. Uh, moving on, we do have Jalen Ramsey. Now, definitely a down year compared to what he had last year, but I think EA is going to want to have at least... Uh, you know, a fan favorite at one of their team of the year positions on defense, uh, you know, in, in the secondary. So I could definitely see them having uh, Jalen Ramsey. I mean, not, again, not having the greatest year uh, compared to last year, but he did have, um, looks like uh, 13 pass deflections, three interceptions, 65 combined tackles. And he wasn't terrible in coverage, which is a good thing for, you know, a team of the year card. Uh, he just wasn't as dominant as he was last year. Now, there's a lot of people that may want to see like a Byron Jones, you know, Stephon Gilmore, uh, guys like that. But I think they're going to go ahead and do a fan favorite in Jalen Ramsey. I just kind of foresee that happening. Uh, and then we have here at Strong Safety, this is going to be the last card here that we have on the list. Um, and that's going to be Jets safety Jamal Adams and uh, Jamal Adams. I know a lot of people again probably gonna be like this is not a you know uh, a popular choice here, but uh, Jamal Adams was actually I do believe the number two ranked safety behind uh, Kareem or not Kareem Jackson, but um what's his name Eddie Jackson there of the Chicago Bears. I mean he is a new player, so uh, kind of hard to remember who it is. But Alabama uh, safety Eddie Jackson he was number one, and then we have Jamal Adams here at number two. And um, Jamal Adams was pretty good. I mean, I know a lot of people are probably going to want like Derwin James here or, you know, uh, like I said, Eddie Jackson or maybe even Harrison Smith, you know, maybe even Titan safety. My One of my favorite players, Kevin Byard. But uh, Jamal Adams, I could definitely see EA doing something like this. Uh, and not to mention, you know, he had a really good year. He was super good in coverage. He didn't give up big plays at all. Um, he had a ton of pass deflections. I think he had something like 13 to 15 pass deflections at safety, which is kind of crazy. Um, and he had a lot of tackles as well. So I could definitely see uh, Jamal Adams getting this card. Yeah, 86 uh, tackles by himself solo and 115 combined. Uh, 13 pass deflections and interception. Three forced fumbles. Uh, one fumble recovery. And uh, definitely just an overall super good year. Also, four sacks to go along with all those stats. So definitely, Jamal Adams is a player I could see getting this card. And that, my friends, is going to be my top 10 Team of the Year players. Well, not really the top 10, just one at least at each position. Um, and I definitely think that Team of the Year is going to be fun this year. We're going to have a lot of really good cards. And uh, if you guys did all your Team of the Week solos every single week, you will be getting yourself a Team of the Year free item uh, near the end of the, uh, you know, season here, which is we're already, you know, getting very close to this. It could be happening at any point. Uh, you know, maybe even next week we'll see it. But if you guys are interested in watching more of my videos and hearing more predictions and getting more info, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell to get the notification when my videos go live. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.